you know, about the house. It, your dad's got a lot of life left to live. Are you sure it wouldn't be better if he just moved on? Not only am I sure of it, but you're sure of it too. Because that's why you're here, to take my side, no matter what. I'm Khaleesi and you're one of those soldiers with no balls. That is disturbingly accurate. Hello, Will. Oh, hi, Joyce. Wow, you're tan. Like Moana. But then, like Pocahontas. I wish I could fly away like Aladdin. Well, you've never had a friend like me. I wonder, is this corned beef or pastrami? Oh, what? Oh, oh, well, where are we going? I'm not doing anything. Let's start this thing, all right? Everyone put on your party hats. Your mother asked me to... <coughs> your mother asked me to read this on her birthday. Hi, everybody. I'm Bobby Adler. Why is my voice coming out of an old man wearing that sweater I don't like? Because I'm dead and couldn't tell him to change before dinner. But I joke. That's what I do, or did. Thank you for coming to what would have been my 55th birthday. 55. Grace, no cracks about my age. Janet, stop slouching. And Joyce, would it kill you to put on a bra? Hey. I am proud that we have always had such a warm and loving house. Speaking of the house, Smudge has something to say. Yeah, get up, Smudge, and say it. I do have something to say. <clears throat> Daddy, this is a wonderful way to celebrate Mom, and I am looking forward to doing this every year in this house. End of discussion, back to the letter. Okay, we warned you. Grace slept with Vice Principal Gordon. Ew. I was 22. Uh, I played poker with that man. He's eaten in this house. Not just in the kitchen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Grace smoked pot at my bat mitzvah. Janet sold it to me. Grace doesn't fast on Yom Kippur. Neither does Janet. Neither does Joyce. Will and I are having an affair. No, we're not. <laughs> Janet kissed the drifter. That drifter had a name. And it was Jebediah. <laughs> All right, but uh, enough already. Everyone sit down here. And let's go on with your dead mother's birthday. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Daddy. Grace started it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now I got floaters. I can't see it. Well, get up and read it. Uh, I am proud that we have always had such a warm and loving house. Even, even Vice Principal Gordon would say how much he loved coming here. <laughs> Martin, you know how I feel about you, and girls, I love you more than I can ever express in my own words. So instead, I'll use those of the song I sang at all of your birthday parties. You won't do it as well as me, but darlings, who could? <laughs> all I do is dream of you the whole night through. With the dawn still gone, I'm dreaming of you. Your every thought, your everything, your every song I ever sing. Summer, winter, autumn, and spring. I miss her so much. Me too. I'm so sorry. Sorry? What are you talking about? Daddy, we got into a fight. Um, Joyce and Janet want you to sell the house, but I don't want you to. And, and Will agrees with me. Right, Will? Um, well, on, on, you know, on one hand, there's, there's Grace. And, and uh, on, on the other hand, there's you. And on the other hand, there's them. That's three hands. You can't have three hands. Well, just say you agree with me. Martin, you hate it here. You told me so. I, I don't think it would be such a bad idea f for you to get on with your life. Get on with my life? I have no life. She was my life, and now you've ruined her birthday. Uh, 
You had one job. Hey, Will. Looks like somebody could use a hug. Huh? Come on. Sure. I could give you one job. <laughs>